In beautiful Northeast Wisconsin stands an engineering marvel, the product of vision, planning, and innovation. A Wisconsin Department of Transportation bridge replacement has become a hub for recreation and tourism. The Wisconsin State Highway 116 bridge spans the majestic Wolf River in the village of Winnicani in Winnebago County. The Wolf River connects two massive bodies of water just west of Lake Winnebago. The lakes and waterways are the economic lifeblood of the area, and the Wolf River Bridge is the only crossing for miles in each direction. It has a significant economic impact on the local community, with fishing, boating, and snowmobiling drawing tourists and locals alike. And the bridge is a critical commercial connection between urban and rural areas. But the 85-year-old lift bridge had big issues. It sat just nine feet from the water surface and had to open nearly 200 times a month. Backing up traffic and halting emergency vehicles, it was imperative that Wistot get a new bridge built. The existing bridge was built in 1932, it was nearing 100 years old, the end of its service life. I was having operational mechanical issues and was getting stuck in the up position. Wistot set about to replace the old bridge with a new, higher level fixed bridge. Construction began in 2017 and the new bridge opened in 2018. But the bridge structure itself was just the beginning of novel ideas that would alter community activities and safety in the village of Winnicani forever. One of the huge things that Winnicani has always had to offer is a fishing bridge where you can actually fish off of the bridge as part of Winnicani. The old Bascule Bridge was the only remaining state bridge to legally allow fishing directly from the bridge. And Wistot project manager Bill Bertrand says that tradition had to continue, only from a safer venue. So we looked at two new fishing platforms to mitigate for the loss of fishing from the state bridge and allowed an enhanced fishing opportunity uh, with two new fishing platforms, one from each shoreline that extends about 220 feet out toward the center of the Wolf River. Completed in 2019, Wistot received awards for outstanding design and construction of the new bridge. But it's not just the bridge structure that has the community buzzing. Winnicani Village President Chris Boucher says with dozens of fishermen casting their rods from atop the old bridge, the two new fishing piers are a boon for the community. When the DOT came in and changed our new looking bridge, they added this fishing pier. So it continued our long history of fishing and created a much safer pier to use for not only elderly but also young children as well. In summer 2020, the prestigious America's Transportation Awards recognized the bridge as one of 12 national finalists for innovative projects that improve quality of life in their communities. The two fishing platforms are really an innovative idea that we came up with in order to replace the, the fishing from the existing bridges. Uh, we work with the lake local stakeholder group uh, on the idea and the concept for the fishing platforms. Uh, by coordination and listening to the locals. While the beautiful fishing piers jutting from the banks of the river get most of the attention, Wistot also built the bridge to better accommodate vehicles, bicyclists, pedestrians, and snowmobiles, while also providing better passage for boat traffic underneath, minimizing the impact to travelers on the bridge. Wolf River Lodge business owner Doug Nelson says the community could not be happier. He rents out fishing equipment, among other things, and business is great. These fishing piers are so awesome in the fact that they're close to the water, they're easy to fish from, they're very safe. I certainly enjoy seeing all the young kids that are out on the piers with their bicycles, catching fish, having fun, very handicapped, accessible. With ample space to fish safely on the piers, Nelson says Wistot had the foresight to add another benefit. The state saw to it that they were extremely well lit, provide safety both for the boaters that are going through, more importantly, it's safe for the fishermen. Fishermen also know that the lights attract a few bugs, the bugs attract minnows, the minnows attract fish. 
Along with the new fishing piers, safety enhancement includes a 10-foot sidewalk on the south side to accommodate snowmobiles in the winter months, 12-foot travel lanes, 6-foot shoulders, and a 6-foot sidewalk on the north side. And Wistot also recognized the importance of aesthetics for the tourist community. One of the things we worked at the village a lot on is to make a walkway with a nice decorative stone area that connects both the fishing platforms and the walk and the park area on the other side of the bridge. Local leaders say the bridge connects the community and enhances the economy like never before. Welcome to Winnicani. Um, we have a wonderful community here. We have lots of business on our west side and our east side of our bridge. Um, it brings us together, the whole community, both um, the west and the east side. Um, you can see down our main street, we have several, several downtown businesses um, that enjoy the benefits of this bridge. It's a great asset to have. It brings so many people into our town. Um, tourism wise, people love to come fish and spend their time on this fishing pier. Um, we just love it for our community. They come, they come shop, they come eat, they do so many things. The award-winning project represents an $11.4 million investment in the region's highway network and in the community. And just as important, it demonstrates innovative, well-planned transportation projects can have an enormous impact on our quality of life.